What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, if my house looks a little bit different, I'm at my beach house. And when I put these videos up, usually they're delayed. So if I'm here, I may be back at my regular house, you know, so I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Anyhow, I got to thinking about what are you afraid of? You know, so many of us are afraid of different things and some of them can seem ridiculous to other people and others you know they can be based on reality some is not based on reality it's based on the what ifs and i often think as people get older they become a magnified version of what they were younger they're good or they're not so good qualities and if fear was a part of their life when they were younger it could exacerbate or get greater as they get older and so what are you afraid of you know, I think most people have some kind of fears, whether they're obvious or whether they're hidden fears. I've known a lot of people with fears along the way. The fear of not enough, the fear of what ifs, the fear of losing something. Um, you know, fears can come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and ways. And what we might think is a ridiculous fear, to someone else, they look at it as a very serious or a very real fear. And so, you know, regardless of whether it looks small to me or large to me, I don't um, diminish someone else's fears because a lot of fears are sort of based on some sense of reality and some are not. There are healthy fears like a bear charging at you through the woods and then there are unhealthy fears of, I've got dark shadows on here. I love to leave dark shadows on um, now and then when I'm down here. And, uh, and so, yeah, so people can have all kinds of fears. And like I said, some of them can be based on reality and some of them cannot be. Some of them can be healthy. Um, if a bear is charging at you through the woods, then getting out of the way of the bear can often be a very, very good thing. Um, if the bear is, uh, if there is no bear and you continue to have that fear, that becomes, can become an unhealthy fear. And so we've got to look at it. Is it a healthy fear? Is it a fear that's productive? Is it a fear that is going to help us become a better person? Is it a fear that's based on reality and that's something that we should look at and something that we should, you know, somehow maybe we can avoid it or get through it better? Or is it just a fear that's holding us back? And I think most fears are fears that just hold us back one way or the other. And they're not doing anything for us. And, you know, even driving from my main home to my beach house, it's a several hour drive. And it's a long drive for me. And, um, and sometimes I, I fear that drive, I, you know, the what ifs. And um, yet I realize that I don't want to live like that because then that would stop me from living my best life, from going from one house to the other. And so I realize that there are some factors that are realistic in that. And yet I realize for the most part, it's only a fear that's unnecessary, that's holding me back from my best life if I'm prepared for the trip to the best of my ability. You know, in life, sometimes all we can do is prepare the very best that we can and then let that go and then let that go, let that worry go. You know, I do the very, very best. It's like I do the very best at staying healthy. You know, I'm pushing 70 years old and a lot of my friends have either died or gotten sick. And so the fear can be real, you know, the what ifs in the future. And yet all I can do is do the very, very best that I can do. And I can't control all factors in the future. All I know is that whatever the factors are in the future, I will do the very best as I am doing now. And so without staying positive, without pushing ourselves in the direction that we wanna go, if we let fear immobilize us, it's going to hold us back from our best life. And so I get in my truck and I drive down to the beach house and then I drive back home from the beach house. I don't let fear immobilize me. And I take great care of my health. Regardless of what the future holds, I take great care of my health. I can't control everything and I know that, but I'm going to do my best at staying healthy in hopes that I will stay healthy or healthier than what I would be if I didn't. So I think we all deal with some kind of fear along the way or fears along the way. What are your fears and how do you deal with them? 
and how are you dealing with them? Are you dealing effectively with them? Because I think most of us do have fears and it's in how we deal with them. For me, I always call myself a, a, a fear fighter or I go in there and I fight that fear and I go through it and I do my best I can. Some things we don't have to unnecessarily go into just because it's a fear. Some things, you know, are unnecessary, but things that are holding us back, for me, I go in there and I fight that fear and I move forward to my best life, okay? Well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.